Chuck Shelton's Drake Bulldogs completed a record-breaking season this afternoon at Drake Stadium with a 53 to nothing win over the University of Nebraska Omaha Moving Mavericks. It was Bulldogs all the way. Dogs scored in their fourth possession. Quarterback Gary Agelski with a super effort from nine yards out. Still first quarter, first and ten in the UNO 30. Mark Sanchez takes a snap. Drake Steve Cochran takes it on the numbers and took off for the touchdown. You don't see plays like that every day, I'm sure Mr. Cochran will tell you that. Things were going just perfectly for Drake. Mickemeyer's kick made it 14-0 dogs. In the second quarter, UNO changed punters, new one, name of Tim Slobodnik. Pat Ruddy blocked his kick. A couple of Bulldogs got a face full of snow, and Drake got two more points. Drake 16, UNO nothing. Ten minutes were left in the second period as the Villanova transfer, Sean Passman, went in over right tackle for another Drake touchdown. And Omero Ware took quite a beating, catching a Yagelski pass for the two-point conversion. Before the half was complete, Amara Ware scored his first of three touchdowns today. This one on a one-yard effort. Drake 30 to nothing in halftime. Here's third period. Ware's second touchdown. Henrik Mickemeyer hit a 35-yard field goal to tie a Missouri Valley Conference record. Amara Ware added another touchdown run before the end of the third period. And in the fourth quarter, Carl Pope broke loose with a 75-yard run. He really had to put on the afterburners or the mud burners in the stretch. Nice job of outrunning a defense by Pope. The dogs are winning his major Iowa team ever at 10-1. And, and there's the Missouri Valley rushing leader for the second straight year, Amara Ware, 113 yards today. John Lightfight, TV8 Sports. The Drake Bulldogs put the icing on the season cake this afternoon with a 53-0 win over the University of Nebraska at Omaha, moving Mavericks at Drake Stadium. Amara Ware had three touchdowns and rushed for 113 yards to become the Missouri Valley rushing leader for the second straight year. But it was Drake quarterback Gary Yagelski here first quarter, avoiding two near tackles and taking in the end zone for a Drake lead. Dogs shut out the Mavericks today. That's defense. And when the defense can score a touchdown, too, Steve Cochran takes a tip Maverick pitch and leaves everyone behind. Nice play by safety Steve Cochran. Moving to the second period, Tim Slobotnik punting for the Mavs. It's blocked by Drake's Pat Ruddy. Dogs chase after like a pack of wolves, get a face full of snow, and get two points on the safety. Drake up 16-0. Before the end of the half, filling over transfer Sean Passman. Scored on a one-yard run. And watch this as the dogs go for the two-point conversion. Yagelski passes to where where gets the ball, gets hit, gets his feet down, and he's hit again, losing the ball, but the feet were already down. Ware added a touchdown before the half Drake, 30 to nothing at the half. In the third period, Ware scored another touchdown. Henrik Mickemeyer tied a Valley record with a 35-yard field goal. Ware scored his third touchdown, and in the fourth quarter, Carl Pope, behind the blocking of some enthusiastic substitute linemen, broke it around the right side and put on the speed through the mud, outrunning all of them. 74-yard scoring run for Pope. Final 53 to nothing. Drake finishes at 10 and 1 conference co-champions and the Valley rushing leader for the second straight year. He's got another year of eligibility left. John Lifeite, TV8 Sports.